Hey guys, my name is Deflux and welcome to my first ever tutorial. Um, today I'm going to cover something pretty basic. It's going to be fracturing an object within Cinema 4D. We're going to be using a little plugin called Explode to do this, which is in the description. So double check that for yourself. Uh, make sure you've got it in Cinema. I'm just going to assume you already know how to install that. So we've we've got Cinema open and we'll just drag in a work path. So we have a customized logo. This is half of DAFs. Um, yeah, that's kind of all you need to know. Um, we'll just drag this onto an extrude NURBS and it creates a 3D object of some form. We'll bring that out a bit. We'll bring this up. We'll bring this down. And before we start, we'll control C and control V this. We're going to rename this. Um, oh, you can just double click and we'll hit call this copy. Turn that off and we'll call this fracture. Okay, so before we can fracture this and explode, this needs to be a polygon object, which is fully editable. So we're going to hit C. No, we're not. That's the X button. Uh, we're going to select this, we're going to hit C, select children, C again, select children. And we're going to connect and delete the object so it is just one polygon object on its own. And we'll go on to explode. And as you can see, this looks pretty simple to use, um, which is mainly why I use it. There's no like dynamics you have to worry about, um, you know, in Frouchy and stuff like that, it automatically has gravity or um, dynamics applied to it. With this, it's just straight up fracturing. It uses thinking particles, I think. Okay, I'm just going to make a rubbish material. I just hope to God you've got your own because you really shouldn't be putting in something like this. You can put an inside material like so. Um, we're going to make this a fracture object. We're going to going to hit add, sorry. And that will create a bunch of little red dots. You do not have to be able to see them. If you can, fair enough. And we'll hit scatter. As you can see, this has done a pretty good job already. And <clears throat> yeah, this is usable straight away. I mean, you know, we can use a random effector. And as you can see, it's pretty random. Um, right, here's a tip. If we go into min max, change the minimum to a hundred and use scale and put these to minus negative one, all of them, and then go to rotation and we'll adjust these random. We'll just drag this about, drag this about, and drag this about. And then as you can see, it's already made quite a decent animation for you. You'd just have to keyframe that and you'd be pretty set to go. But you may be having issues. Um, I'm not going to blame you. I had quite a few myself when I first tried this out. So we'll go over to this. And as you can see, this is where it's gone a bit wrong and it's not entirely accurate all the time. So we'll just select this. We'll right click, select children, and then we'll go over to the polygon tool. This will allow us to select certain areas and delete what does not quite work and because you've selected the children you can um, get all of them I don't know why on earth they call them the children but we'll go with that um, so yeah this is this can be pretty quick and simple to do it's more a case of getting around cinema um, if you hold alt and left click you can just rotate around other than having to go on there. I mean, that can often be useful. Um, you know, we got that to delete, that, uh, rotate again, that. Um, you can even just shift select and then press delete at once, but I'm not really into doing that. I just like to delete them nice and quickly. Like this, in case you do fuck up and select the wrong polygon. Then you are back to square one with an undo, but yeah, this this isn't looking perfect, but it's getting close enough. Um, I'm sure you guys get the idea with this. I mean, 
I'm not really going to have to go through all of this. But, yeah, I'm thinking this is the end of the tutorial. Um, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any suggestions, um, any at all, I mean, I'm sure I could try and figure stuff out if I don't know what to do exactly, but if you have any